So we have been talking about the Henry's law, Henry's component, and now it's time to select them in order to calculate the binary parameters. Recall that Henry's law is used for the calculation of the amount of supercritical component, or maybe call it light gas, in a liquid phase. That will be CO, oxygen gas, CO2, maybe even methane, etc. Whatever material which is not likely to condense yet might be present in water or any liquid phase can be calculated here. Now we use this typically in ideal or activity coefficient models. So in the activity coefficient model we have this. Hopefully you remember that PLI is the vapor fracture. What Henry's model do is that it assumes that this value is fixed and that the activity coefficient is actually constant as well for dilute solutions. So this is the Henry's law, mathematically speaking. Now it's important to denote that Henry's law is based on temperature and that it requires parameters from Aspen Plus. So we got those parameters. We just need to declare the solute and solvent. As stated here, declare the supercritical components and yeah, essentially we need to do that in the following workshop.